Hey, what's going on guys? So I finally got a GPS meter. It's a SkyRC GSM-010 GPS meter. It's been on the market for a little while. I've, I've been in the market uh, for one of these things for a little while now, but you know, it's been winter and I didn't really care to test out my stuff in the snow. So, uh, you know, I was thinking of getting this one or this other one called the Big Five or the Dynamite. And I was thinking, why should I spend as much money as that when, you know, for half the price I can get something that is good or almost as good. According to most people, it's pretty much the same. So decided to go with this. So, you know, I'm going to strap this on one of my birds or one of my cars or all of them <laughs> in the near future. So, hey, glad I have one of these things now. All right, uh, some of the features, uh, obviously test the speed and test the max speed, um, test, test the altitude, um, uh, GPS coordinates. You can also connect it to um, your computer and uh, it's actually firmware upgradable. And then you can log on, check all your, your data stuff that you've done, your speeds, your locations. And uh, you can also, you know, and hook it up to Google Max and give you an exact location points and speeds of all the runs and stuff that you've done, which is pretty cool. Um, what else? Uh, let me see. Let me show you what else is in here. I mean, this, this manual is pretty informative. It tells you everything about it. And I'm actually going to do a run with this, guys. I'm actually going to put this on my car dashboard and um, compare it to my speedometer that's the only way to test if this thing actually really works all right um, so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna be careful you know I'm not gonna break the speed limit or anything but I'm gonna definitely do that so let's just um, start this thing up so the power button is right here and you can also hook this up to your receiver which is pretty good. You can get the power from the receiver to power this up. And you have a mode button here. I don't know if you guys can see that well. And the enter button. So let me start this up, give you guys a quick demo. So when you start it up, I mean, you, it's pretty faint. Um, yeah, you see this trying to acquire satellites. It won't because I'm actually underground now in my basement. So anyways, you would hit the mode button. All right, and that's the speed current speed and it has peak speed and the next one would be the average speed got to mention all that in the intro <laughs> and altitude and a uh, peak altitude and average altitude and then you got your trip you can plan a trip and see how far you've gone and all that kind of stuff so it's pretty simple all right guys so i'm gonna go test this thing for real Put it on my dashboard and see if this thing actually works. All right, guys, sit tight. All right, so here we go. Let's do this test thing. So 55, it's hard to focus both of these. So it's uh, 67 now, I'm trying to go steady. 67 on the meter, 69 on the meter. And let's see, uh, 74-ish. So we got 78, let's say 80, and 85. Right, not that much difference. Focus that one. So that's like around 85, and this is 83. It's about a five kilometer difference. The meter is about five kilometers less than the car's speedometer. All right. Not bad. That one right there is pretty even. Look at that. 82, 82. Alright, so it works. Alright guys, see you guys on the next one, alright? 